everybody, Nick with Starfall Sabres here, and I am super excited to show you what I've been working on behind the scenes for the last several months. Uh, some of you may remember on Instagram, if you are part of the broadcast channel, I had uh, updated everyone about um, some changes to the way I've been doing business. In the past, you were, you were able to pre-order Mystery Sabres, semi-custom Mystery Sabres, and so forth on my Etsy. And I put an, a stop to that just because the backlog of orders was getting really stressful. So uh, now I do like ready to ship sabers as I complete my Etsy orders and my commissions. Now, part of that announcement, I announced that I would be doing uh, some ready to ship sabers under the Starfall Originals uh, moniker. Um, and then there was also an, uh, a little tease of the uh, Starfall Limited Edition. And so what that is, is basically a limited edition production run of, a, uh, of my design. And this is the first one. So hopefully if this one goes well, I'll be able to do more of these uh, next year. Uh, probably only probably realistically two to possibly three per year that will drop. But this is the first one, so this is new territory for me, but I'm really excited. And I get to show this off now. This is called Legacy. So these will be ready to ship. Um, they're, depending on when you're watching this, it'll be uh, Monday, uh, what's today, the second, third, so December 4th, Monday, uh, on my Etsy shop, you'll be able to order their, order these. There's only 50 of these available, and they'll each come with a uh, laser engraved plaque, a uh, numbered plaque. So let's open the box. This is, just as an example, this is number one of 50. And um, these are stainless steel, laser engraved. They come in uh, protective plastic coating. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but this um, uh, blue bar behind Legacy is actually kind of iridescent. And so it catches the light really nicely. So each one will come with a numbered plaque. Again, so it is, even though this is a production saber, this has been meticulously uh, designed, quality controlled, because I didn't want anything coming out of my shop that uh, I couldn't 100% be happy about. Also, because this is limited, once once the last one is sold, this will never be made again. So, especially because, since I'm known for doing more of collectors uh, one of one, uh, this is basically a, a one of one set of 50. Once they're sold, they'll never be made again. All right, let's take a look at the saber. Now, some of you may recognize this right away as a spin on one of my very uh, popular designs that I've made uh, over and over again, which I used to call the scrap flex, which I would make by hand. And so I chose uh, one that uh, that I had built recently that I really just I really liked because each one that I hand built is a little bit different and so we used that as the basis for this production model that you see here uh, Gustavo from Laredo Sabres uh, did all the the 3d modeling for um, uh, based on the sketches and the pictures that I sent him couldn't have done it without him he did uh, an amazing job He's a, he's a good team member to, to work with. And then uh, Christian Cruz did this beautiful box art as well. Uh, and he also did these plaques. So I'm really happy with the way this saber came out. We did um, a few different iterations of the prototypes to make sure, um, for one, it looked really good and um, important to me was that it was install friendly. And so we needed to make sure we got that right.
And so what I'm gonna do is actually break down this entire Sabre so that for those of you who are uh, DIY installers, um, you'll have an example of how the whole Sabre comes apart. And also just to show you all the different um, components that make up Legacy. So uh, one thing that I did want for this Sabre was to have a uh, removable hilt, uh, grip, rear grip that unscrews. And so you can have a, uh, it's a press fit chassis design. Now, Albert from Smuggler's Outpost, I've partnered with him to design the chassis for this. And so <clears throat> I've sent him a prototype and he's working on that and should have that available in his shop soon. So when you, if you're DIY, you can purchase the hilt and then purchase the chassis and you can go to town doing your own install. Or of course you can commission Albert to do uh, the install for you. So that was important to me. I wanted it to be able to accommodate a 28 millimeter uh, speaker as well, you know, and removable, ba removable battery and all of those things that make uh, the modern installs uh, easy and convenient. So with each Legacy uh, Sabre inside the box, you'll have a set of wrenches with some extra screws and there'll also be some uh, small set screws that are gonna go in this rear section that once the chassis press fits, then you can use those set screws to fully secure that. And so we'll use some of these wrenches. I wanna show how the top part comes apart for install. I also wanted to, let's put this on. I wanted to have the buttons where you could grip over them without worrying about accidentally pressing them. So we have this recessed channel here for undermount tactile ball switches that will go here. So that way when you're gripping the saber like so, you, um, you, you, know, you can have a high and low grip without accidentally doing any button presses. So this box removes. not as crucial for when you remove these screws but when you tighten them back up you want to <clears throat> um, tighten kind of uh, back and forth so that you don't put any uh, too much uh, torque on each individual screw because the way this box is it's actually concaved to around the saber which gives it a really cool sleek look And every, all these pieces are all solid brass. So here you have an undermount for your tactile ball switches. They will snap in place. And then I do recommend some sort of uh, uh, install friendly epoxy just to make sure that they don't um, pop back out. Also, you have two blade holders or sorry, um, two screws to secure the blade. One's on the bottom here. And that's another thing that I wanted was, in case you don't wanna use the set screw by you know messing with Allen wrench, that this uh, see-through glass eye, which is also brass, um, will act as the blade retention. So they'll also come with a blade plug. So for for install purposes, this entire shroud can be removed.
also because we could, because this was getting CNC'd, uh, we wanted to do just extra cool little details on the hilt. You don't have to remove the bunny ears, but you can, or actually, you know what? You do have to, my bad. You at least have to loosen these screws so that it clears this lip. So with that off, um, you have a set screw here. You can use one of the set screws that come in the bag here. That will secure the NeoPixel connector uh, for the blade side, one inch blade. And you notice you have a nice deep uh, blade socket. It's about three inches. And then this will allow you uh, plenty of space to get your wiring from the chassis to come through here. Also wanted to show for those who wanted to get their saber professionally etched from your etcher of choice. Uh, I know I'm gonna send a couple to Chris Skinner of Cast Designs to see what he can do um, with this saber. There's a lot of, lot of room to do some really cool stuff. And these uh, brass rings also unscrew. And this rear pommel also comes off. Now, one thing we designed with this pommel is that it inserts into this pommel shroud. And so um, you can remove these set screws, or sorry, these button head screws. And these little brass, uh, brass washers uh, tend to go flying everywhere. So be real careful when you take those off. And then there's a set screw um, underneath one of them and so you can clock this so that when once that's tight if it's not lining up with the rest of the hilt how you want you can clock it secure the set screw and then put the washers and the button head screws back on which uh, will come in handy for if this is getting etched or weathered then when you put it back together everything will clock um, correctly So this unscrews, and then this rear brass piece unscrews as well. So these are all the components of, of Starfall Legacy. I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna put this back together right now and just show you some more close-ups of the hilt. All right, got everything put back together and just wanted to show off this saber one more time again this is going to be uh, or possibly if you're watching this later it already is available in my etsy shop it's they are gonna sell for 475 and again come with a numbered plaque one through 50. once all of these are sold that's it i'm never doing another run of this one it will be on to the next um, limited edition design. So hopefully this project sells well and I will continue to be able to do this. I'll also be offering uh, crystal chamber options um, on these as, as well as a weathering service. In fact, let me show you uh, one of the prototypes that I weathered. This is one of the prototypes that I got. Um, you can see it's subtle difference but it has this acid etched gunmetal look on all of the silver bits as well as some light weathering on the knurled grip and it gives it um, in my opinion just a little more uh, in universe star wars feel kind of highlights some of these ridges through here And so I will offer uh, that service as well as a, uh, a full brass crystal um, chamber on the rear section of the hilt. 
So please let me know if you have any questions about Starfall Legacy. Again, I'm super excited. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get to this point with Starfall if it wasn't for uh, all of the support that my fans and my clients have given me, uh, the patience as I work through my backlog of handmade sabers. So again, thank you so much. I'm super excited that uh, we were able to bring this to everyone. And as always, may the force be with you and we'll see you next time.